The main goal of this project was to detect if a PV system works correctly using a machine learning approach. To achieve this, a database with information about PV systems from Germany in detail Baden-Württemberg was utilized. This dataset contained master data like the location and orientation of a PV system as well as the yield information for 5 minute steps. To identify anomalies, primarily the yield data and the comparison to the neighbors of a plant are important. With this data, a machine learning technique named isolation forest was used. This algorithm can generally be divided into two parts. In the first phase, binary search trees are created by giving each node a random value for one random attribute. In the example shown, the first node divides the data set into two further sets, the one that have an x value lower than 11 and the one with a higher x value. This process is repeated until a certain depth. The general idea for this approach is that an anomalous data point differs from others in their attributes and can therefore be easily isolated. This can be seen in the two-dimensional example for the yellow data point with x equals 13 and y equals 11. In phase 2, multiple of these random trees are analyzed so that the average depth of a node to the root node determines an anomaly score, which gives information about how likely it is that this data point is normal or not. The results of the isolation forest were then evaluated. Due to the fact that the data at hand was unlabeled, which means there is no information about if the plant operates correctly or not, a state-of-the-art approach of performance assessment was used as ground truth. The used method is an algorithm introduced by Lelou, which is perf called performance to peer. It requires a number of different calculations, which are described further in this section. The P2P factor resulting from this algorithm indicates, with a value between 0 and 1, if a plant is anomalous or not. In the last paragraph, the result of the comparison of P2P and isolation forest is shown. The confusion matrix shows the detected anomalies from P2P vertically and the isolation forest horizontally. Based on the values of true positives and true negatives, it is evident that fault detection based on isolation forests is possible. Nevertheless, the false positives and false negatives are also indicator that there is still room for improvements, which can have multiple causes. Isolation forests can very well be used for anomaly detection. A quantitative evaluation of this methodology should be repeated using labeled data to identify strength and weakness of this approach solely.